Today I'm taking part in a wonderful Thanksgiving collaboration with 14 other fabulous channels. Please make sure you check the description box below for all the channels participating in this collaboration. Now on to our recipe. Today I'm going to be making apple crumble. If you want to see how I make this recipe, keep watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Now let's get baking. Guys, this is the time of year we have an abundance of apple. It's the season, it's apple picking time, and a lot of different varieties. I'm going to make this crumble with the um, Cortland apple. And it is a little tart, but kind of sweet. Very, It's just perfect for this kind of uh treat it's a very quick and easy recipe so it tastes good but you will not spend a lot of time putting this together okay guys so I'm gonna show you how I make my apple crumble I have six large Cortland apples in here and what I did after I peel them I squeezed half the, the juice of half a lemon on that and just toss it up uh, so they stay nice and light and keep them from oxidizing. To that, now I'm going to add a cup of white sugar, our cinnamon and nutmeg. I'm going to stir that up. It smells good already. The cinnamon, well, cinnamon always smells good. It just opens up your taste buds once you to start eating something and now I'm going to add some cornstarch so the cornstarch is going to keep it make it thick because it will sprout as it's cooking so this is going to keep it thick so it's not too runny okay and you can see guys it's all covered mixed with everything right so all right so I'm just going to pour that into my bacon dish want to make sure it's nicely packed okay because it is going to melt like they're going to cook down I can taste that already with some nice vanilla ice cream yum 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 mm. next thing I'm gonna do is make my crumble um, what I'm gonna do now is preheat my oven so I'm gonna do it at 375 and just let it heat up In here, I have a cup of self-rising flour and a cup of rolled oats. To that, I'm going to add a cup of brown sugar and my spices. So we have in here a teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of nutmeg and ground ginger and just a little bit of allspice as well. And to that, I'm adding some cold butter. You want to make sure your butter you take it out right when you're about to use it so it's nice and cold and then I have in there I think I have a quarter um, quarter pound of butter and then I'm just gonna cut that in sometimes I think it would be better to just use my hands so guys, I'm going to finish it off with my hands. So you just want to do that until everything is kind of mixing and you can feel the little bits coming together. Okay, now we're going to put it on here. So just going to pile it on. Piling it on. As it's cooking, it's going to sink. I want to make sure I have lots of that on the top so you get a nice layer of that goodness. So as soon as the oven reaches temperature, I'll just put it in there. So I'm just going to put it on the middle rack. And I'll check it. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I'll keep an eye on it. So guys, this is it. I'm gonna try some. Oh, look at that. Wow, that is 
is so good. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Get some apples. And that sauce. Get all those. Oh, that's beautiful apples here. Okay, and we have some crumble. Now I have some vanilla ice cream. And that's gonna go really good with some ice cream. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Get some of that crunch. Mm. Oh, that's yummy. That crunch and uh, all that cinnamon and all these um, spices come together so well. Mm. I'm going to take a bite for you guys, okay? I'll just get some of the crumble. Mm. Guys, you gotta try this. It's so easy to make and it tastes absolutely delicious. And here you have it guys, our delicious apple crumble. Thank you for watching and guys, until next time, have yourselves a great day and God bless.